Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet that rose you just saw in the picture. Ask you um, not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So that way if you're subscribed you don't ever miss an update or a tutorial whenever I put one on. That way you always get a notification. Um, also if you could give this uh, video a, a like and a share, um, I'd really appreciate it. But for this project, I used just regular Red Heart Super Saver, which is just a medium weight worsted four ply acrylic. Now, you don't have to use this brand, any four ply yarn will work. And the color I use is Hunter Green, and then I used red. I don't have a tag, but I believe it's cherry red. I'm pretty sure. But you can, of course, you can use any colors that you want. And then I also used a size I, which is a uh, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 56. And once you get your chain of 56 done, we're going to put one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So one single and second stitch. And then we're going to do one single in every single stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. One single all the way down until you get to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end of row one, you should have a total of 55 stitches now. Now what we're going to do for row two is chain one and turn our work. Now working in this very, very first stitch here, we're going to do a V stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and go into that very first stitch and do a double crochet, a chain of two, and then another double crochet in that same spot. So that is what our V stitch is going to be. Now we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to V stitch into the next. So skipping this one and jumping over to the next, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain of two, and another double crochet all into the same stitch. And that's the pattern we're going to repeat for row two. So we're going to skip one stitch and V stitch into the next. So we're going to double crochet, chain two, and do another double crochet into the same stitch. Again, skip one and then V stitch into the next, double, chain two, and double. Skip one and V stitch into the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of row two. So skip one V stitch, skip one V stitch, skip one V stitch all the way to the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row two. And I should have two stitches left, so you want to skip that one, and you want to, your last stitch is going to be a V stitch. So go ahead and V stitch into that last stitch, and you should have a total of 28 V stitches now. Now for that'll end uh, row two. Now for row three, what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. Now it's probably going to start to get a little twisty on you and that's fine it's going to do that curl up a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to work in this chain two space here and what we're going to do is work seven double crochets in that chain two space so there's one two three four five, six, and seven. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a single crochet 
in between these two V stitches. So right here through this space. We're just going to go right through that space and do a single crochet. Like that. And then we're going to go right here to this next chain 2 space of the V, the middle of this V, and do 7 double crochets again. So right through this space. Just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven and then again right here in this space between these two V stitches we're going to do a single crochet so just go right through the space and single crochet and I know it's going to feel like it's starting to scrunch and getting real tight but that's fine it's supposed to be like that so that's the pattern we're going to repeat for row three so we're going to jump right here to this V stitch right here where this chain two space is and work seven double crochets one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then single crochet right here in this space between these two V stitches. So go right in there and single crochet. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way down until I get to the end seven double crochets in this next V stitch and then single crochet right here in the space between these two V stitches. Seven doubles and then single crochet all the way until I get to the end of row three. Okay I've made it to the end of row three and you'll have 28 of these little um, shells or the where we put seven double crochets there and what you want to do is end with the slip stitch right here in this this uh, double crochet here at the end top of the V here so or you know somewhere right here the right here around the top of that um, double crochet and just slip stitch it right there and now what you want to do is tie it off now like that now what we're going to do is I'm going to start from this end, not the end that we tied off with. And I just start rolling it up. You want to get the center kind of small. But I just kind of lay that row, first row of single crochets on top of each other. Like that. And that's kind of how it gets rolled up. Now you can sew it together, and you can see like that. So what I'll probably do is take a long piece of my red yarn and a yarn needle and sew it up at that single crochet row. So I'm just going to undo it here. So I'm going to start right here. This is what we're... we're rolling it up on this first row of single crochet and I'm going to start and I'm just going to go in I'm just working on that single crochet row and I'm going to make a little tie there so this doesn't come undone you're not going to really be able to see that so it doesn't matter okay now what I'm going to do is start rolling it so I'm going to roll it really tight once around the single crochet and then kind of just sew it like this together and then roll it again one more time and then go back through the single crochet again roll it again remember we're sewing along the single crochet row and you might have to just kind of and you can go through the same I kind of go through the middle of it again and grab that single crochet row. And you might have to fiddle with it a while to get it to look how you want. Especially that center, sometimes it comes undone. But I'm just going to keep rolling it. I roll it once, and then I'll take it and I'll sew it once. And I come up back up, 
I come back up through. I grab that single crochet row and I'll come up through my main point like that. It's not perfect sewing, but it does the job. And then I'll roll it again. Go back through, come up like that. Something that would work well too would be putting a dab of hot glue on, which is what I normally would, would do. But I wanted to show you guys how to sew it. But I would use hot glue and just um, put a little bit on the single crochet row as I was rolling it up. Because hot glue and yarn, once you hot glue something in yarn, I have never had it come undone. I mean, hot glue hits yarn, it sticks. But since I'm doing this video, I wanted to show you how you could sew it up. Remember to just keep sewing it on that single crochet row. But you could also do the hot glue trick too. See, I'm just grabbing that single crochet row and I'm just pulling it back up through what we've already sewed. Keep making sure it's staying on the single crochet row. That's kind of the guide row that I use to sew up stuff. Or that I'm using to sew this on. That's why I made that single crochet row. I'm just lining single crochet rows up and a little bit at a time I go through them through this one and then through the next one and sew it up so this is what I'm gonna do the whole way it's just gonna start getting wider as you go but this is what I'm gonna do the whole way down is just keep sewing it like this I hope you're able to see it okay with my camera but I'm getting all twisted up here but just like that so I'm gonna keep sewing that up like that until I get it all sewed on okay once you get it all sewed on you might want to twist up your center a little bit more sometimes that's the hardest part and if you want to go through it a couple times and sew it better like down here and then back up you can do that I know some people do that but that's how I sew a rose together like I said though generally I would hot glue it but since I'm on video I wanted to guys show you guys how to sew it so but that's the rose you want to make sure you hide your other tails there but I'm gonna set you can see it's kind of a pretty big rose but it's in the palm of my hand so I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna show you how to make one of these leaves if you want to add a leaf to it and then you can sew them on also so the leaves are real easy too. Just want to start with the slip knot. And then we're going to do a chain of 12. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to half double in the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, half double crochet. And then I'm going to half double into the next stitch. And then I'm going to put a double into the next. And then a double into the next. Now I'm going to put a triple into the rest of the stitches of the chain. So there's one, two, I know this dark green heart yarn is hard to see, I'm sorry. And three, four, five. Now on the last one, last stitch, I'm going to put seven triple crochets into this last stitch. And that's what's going to make it kind of round at the bottom. So there's one. All in the same stitch, seven of them. Two. Three. Four. 
four, five, six, and there's seven. Now what I'm going to do is start working up this side of the chain and I'm going to put one triple crochet into the next five stitches. Don't go back into the same one that you just put all them seven in and go up to the next one. So triple crochet in the next five. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to put a double crochet into the next two. Double crochet, just one, and then a double crochet into the next. And then I'm going to put a half double crochet into the next one. Half doubles. And then a half double crochet right here in this last one. And now I'm going to end by slip stitching right over here into the first half double crochet. So just slip stitch right there on this other side into that first half double that you made. And tie that off. And that's how I make my leaves. Now of course you can make them any way that you want. And then you want to hide that tail. And then all you want to do is take your rows and then place your leaves wherever you want and sew them on kind of the same way with your yarn needle. And clip that off. But yeah, just use a piece of yarn and sew it on to the bottom. If you want to use the green yarn, I guess I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Clip off a piece here. I got some tail straggler, stragglers here hanging on my, my rows here, so let me clip them off here. There. Now you can just put this wherever you want to put it. Put the where the good side's facing out. Take your yarn needle and just kind of go so kind of pretty much the same way you did the rows. Just go through and back up. Just make sure that you're not bleeding through the other the side of the, any of the rose petals. But you shouldn't be if this don't go extremely extremely deep. Just go around it and then back up and just go around the whole leaf this way and get it sewed on there. That's it. That's pretty much all there is to this row. So it's actually really pretty easy. You can make as many leaves for it as you want. But once you get that sewed on, you just hide your tails. And then you can sew another one on if you want. But wherever you want to. You can show multiple ones on. It's completely up to you. However you want to do it. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to give this video a, a like and a share if you enjoyed it. And if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Dag Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Also, you can find a link to the where you can get the written pattern for this rose too below. And until next time, have a good day.